the Big Bang, the birth of the universe and the beginning of life, the cosmic dawn when the stars began to shine. Our ancestors observed the cosmic dance of our constellations and some patterns started to emerge. We are connected to the beginning of the universe. Our bodies are made of stardust. The ocean waves, like the heartbeats of the earth, calling us to go across the seas. Early civilizations follow the sun and the stars into the unknown, discovering the world. To go and see beyond the horizon, further and further, following our leaders, daring. We found out that our world was round, that our planet was a pearl amongst the stars. traveling and if they left their village they needed to come back and uh, they would use someone in their village like a navigator and he knew his position on the planet and he knew how to come home so these people were sort of uh, held at a high regard then after that people started to invent different mechanical way for them to find their way around a planet. And they realized they need points of navigation. And this is the beginning for me of the points of navigation. It's the six points and the master point. And with this, you can find your position anywhere in the universe. This is the first astrolabe or spiritual astrolabe that I made. And I'll show you how it works. You take that out and inside the box is everything that you need. You put this in here and then you align this like this. And this takes a couple of seconds to get into full alignment here. Once you've aligned that, you turn this center ring to face yourself. And then you put this here and then this goes here and then with a stone that's for you, you sort of tune it like that. And then with this set up like that, you can ask questions. And uh, yeah, it'll give you the answer. This is the uh, second astrolabe and uh, yeah, this one's a little bit more complicated and it was a lot of fun to make. So I'll take it out of the box. This is what comes in the box. Okay, we've assembled the boat. The base is ready. This is the next part. Now you notice on the front, there's the months of the year. So you align this 
here, which whatever month is uh, that you want. Then you move this, and you notice that this has uh, water, fire, earth, and air on it. So you can put this in here, and then you can turn this to what's uh, applicable for you. And then we have this. It's a mortar and pestle and a spoon. And we have this. If you want to find something, you put a little piece of what you're looking for in here and grind it up. Then you put it in the spoon and then you put the spoon in here and you spin it. And the spoon will point to wherever it is that you want to, whatever it is you want to find. Now the next thing this does will give you answers to questions. So you set your month that you're born, you set your earth, wind and fire, and then you use this. This is a silver spoon, uh, silver needle that's covered uh, in a black cloth. Then you put it on here and you spin it and you ask it a question and uh, it will either point to yes or no. And that's pretty much it. Yes, it is. Yet so much more to learn or perhaps to unlearn. As the universe is expanding and our world keeps on turning, We are still trying to find who we truly are. And find our place in this overwhelming universe.